Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I ended up recording all my fights of the last war. Had a little bit of time to throw things together and figured uh, it'd be kind of fun to, to see if I could still make a war video. So welcome back for war number six of season 33. I'm fighting for the Alliance SAS and for this war we are matched up against NXS Noxious Smoke. They are a perennial masters alliance. Um, tons of skilled players, some really loaded accounts in that alliance, so it'll be a good challenge for us. For this war, I've got six fights lined up, starting on Path 8 with just a Silver Surfer. Then hopping over to Path 6 in Section 2, where I do have three fights. I'm taking on a Hulkbuster, a Hitmonkey, and then the Shared Mini at the end of Section 2, which is a Sasquatch. And then I finish off the war with two fights on Boss Island with a Cersei and then a Super Scroll, one of the more notorious defenders um, with the current meta and the defensive tactic. This is the attacking team that I'm bringing in. Yeah, things have changed. I have Tigra at rank 4, Sig 200. She's going to take on the bulk of the war with four fights, the Silver Surfer, the Hulkbuster, the Cersei, and the Super Scroll. Kitty Pride is the second rank 4 coming along with me in this war. She's rank 4, Sig 200. She's just going to take along that hit monkey and provide a super cool synergy support for Tigra. And then Human Torch, he's sitting at rank 3, Sig 40. He's just there to burn Flame on and take on that Sasquatch on node 39. So let's get into the first fight. This is node 8, Rich Get Richer, Feats of Power, Mystic Board, lots of cosmic stuff. Silver Surfer isn't a global defender, so it's pretty much just a vanilla Silver Surfer with Tigra. Uh, I will use an advanced power boost. I'm super potent with her, can zip through fights. I'm going to heavy punish the special one and then hope to get to the special two to finish them off. Did a few duels, was really comfortable with punishing the special one, so I wasn't very worried about this. This is a pretty good fight to start off the war and kind of shake off all the tiger cobwebs, get really comfortable with her. So start off with a few combos, push him over a bar of power, just going to try and bait the special one here. He throws it, dash in, heavy charge to punish, and then you can see with the power start one, I'm already at two bars of power, able to launch the special two, and the fight is over. So just under 30 seconds, super quick, always like to see that with Tigra hopping over to section two, we are on node 28, prowess buildup, superior special return policy. Uh, not a mutant here, no way to gain any extra prowess buffs, so I'm not too worried about that. I do have to worry about the armor buffs, um, both from Unstoppable Armor as well as his natural kit. Um, I will eat a shock debuff, but hopefully I will be able to take Hulkbuster down before that matters. Uh, I am able to heavy punish his uh, heavy as well as heavy punish his special one. So this is a matchup that I'm pretty comfortable with, although anytime I'm fighting Hulkbuster with Tigra, I tend to make at least one or two errors. Um, We'll see if I make one in this fight, but so far the start's going really, really well. We were able to bait a heavy, punish that. Um, he pushed us to the special two, and I probably should have heavy punished that heavy and then fired off the special two just to stack a few more ruptures. That's all good. Um, minimal difference there. He fires the special one. We heavy punish. We're in a really good spot here. There was no reason for me to fire off that special one. So there's that mistake that I usually make against Hulkbuster. Uh, thankfully, we don't get punished, and we finish up the fight um, smoothly. So we took a little bit of dot damage from the shocks, but no worries, we got through that fight um, fairly cleanly, apart from that one mistake. This is the third fight of the war, no 38, prowess buildup, passively special, uh, hard knock life. This is Kitty Pride versus Hit Monkey. This is a pretty straightforward fight for me. Uh, I can weave in a few parries, even with Hard Knock Life. I'm not too worried about that. Just to stack prowesses so I can activate the phase a little bit earlier if I can get to the unblockable um, threshold at 10 prowesses, even better. Um, and then normally I don't punish Hit Monkey's special one just because if you're late, but even just a hair, there's always that chance that you can get parried. But with Kitty, uh, if I have more than three prowess, uh, prowess effects on me, I can phase and she's stun immune when phasing, so I can punish the special one super comfortably without any risk of being parried and being punished. So this really is just a pretty straightforward fight. I did turn on Liquid Courage and Double Edge with the. Uh, Kitty, just to make the fight go a little bit faster, I don't think you need it, the fight will just take a little bit longer. But as you can see, baiting the special one, punishing while phased, uh, super smooth. Uh, I am unblockable, so I'm just going to bait this one last special one, and then probably finish off the fight uh, here with the, uh, with the special two. Could have launched it a lot earlier, uh, that's something for me to keep in mind in the future. But that fight goes through down really, really smooth. Um, so far, so good. We are headed off to No. 39, Ebb and Flow, Intercept, Money, Charge, Kremlin, Armor, Sasquatch, one of the more annoying defenders with the unstoppable armor, defensive tactic. Um, 
I'm using Human Torch, this is the only fight that I needed Torch for, I'm going to use Flame on, I have an invulnerability boost on, it has been a while since I played Torch, he was pretty much permanently banned during the high ground meta, um, so shaking off the Torch cobwebs, um, not super worried against Sasquatch, just going to take a few blocked hits, um, I'm going to try and find my, in my window to intercept, I think it comes right here, so there we go, and I'm just going to try and cram as much Nova Flame damage as I can in that window, trying to beat the special one first. Uh, and I am kind of keeping an eye on the armors just in case it goes unstoppable. I get punished there. That was a really undisciplined attack by me. And then I also forget that um, he purifies all debuffs when the, uh, the intercept timer restarts. So two errors for me right away there. Thankfully the inbound boost did its work there and I'm kind of trapped in the corner here. Uh, so we got off a really clutch intercept there to kind of restart the damage timer. End up throwing the special two into him being unstoppable. So there's another error. I got really lucky there. I didn't get punished. Um, but now at this point in the fight, I'm feeling pretty good. I can fight my way out of the corner. He's not in Wrath of Tanarak. Uh, I just have to get one more intercept off and the Nova Flames will uh, probably finish him. So I am trying to gain a little bit of control back on the map, push him away from the wall just in case the fight goes longer than anticipated. But I do hit that intercept and at this point I know the fight's over. Just a few more combos and there we go. So definitely a bunch of errors um, in the midpoint of the fight that I wasn't very happy about, but at the end of the day, secured all three attack bonuses. That's what's most important. Hopping over to node 48. These are the last two fights of the war on Boss Island. Feats of Vigilance, Power Efficiency, Missing in Action, Return Policy. She's not a global defender, but she can be tricky. Uh, I am using Tigra here. Same strategy as usual. Gonna advance Power Boost. This time I do have Liquid Courage and Double Edge on just to juice out as much damage as I can because I had two back-to-back -back Tigra fights and I want to get out of them as fast as possible. So what I didn't expect here though was the interaction with Feats of Vigilance and use the Power Start 1. That pushes me over a bar of power. She triggers a vigilance buff. So I had to pivot my game plan a little bit and kind of delay. Uh, I still do kind of want to have the neutralize up, but I'm going to heavy once that expires to put the falter on her. She fires her special one. I punish just before the special three so I can fire off the special two. The power back boost or uh, get us back to the special two. I could have fired it there. Um, don't know why I didn't. Ended up baiting the special one, still was able to punish, and the second special two gets through. Uh, so slight misstep on my end there, but the fight's still finished in 30 seconds, all good, can't complain about that. Um, we are going to end off our war against Super Scroll on node 51, Combat Deja Vu, Prowess Puncture, Conflictor, so I am expecting Conflictor to play a part in the fight. He will uh, remove at least one or two of the ruptures and gain a bunch of power. So the hope here is I'm going to use the Power Star 1 again. Uh, I'm going to ride block the entire time and bait his heavies and then just punish his heavies and then see what kind of magic the special 2 can, uh, can make. So here we go. Entering the fight. Still have both Liquid Courage and Double Edge on. Throws his heavy. Punish with my heavy. We're in a really good spot here. The neutralize has pretty decent uptime. He's a little bit stingy there, firing two hits, two hits, no heavies, but there you go. Finally hits a heavy again. And at this point, he's at two bars. I'm at two bars. I fire off my special two, and the fight is over. So, yeah, just over 20 seconds. Tiger absolutely slashes her way through that fight. Uh, I was really happy with the Tiger play this war, and we end up pulling off the win. 10 9 against NXS. Super, super close. Came down to the last few fights. So, this is how our season's going. We're sitting at 3 and 3 at the halfway mark. We think that 6 and 6 is going to be a lock for Masters. So, in a good spot. If we go 4 and 2 in the second half, that'd be great. Um, but, yeah. Not sure if I'll have enough time to put out another one of these, but figured it'd be fun to kind of uh, to revisit. And uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Appreciate it. Catch you on the other side.